Hey there, I wanted to tell you about this new yarn by Peyton's called Big Boucle. Peyton's Yarn. www.peytonsyarn.com. P A T O N S Y A R N S. The yarn is called Big Boucle. And I've got some mailed to me from the manufacturer, so I want to see what it's like. Now, <clears throat> I've never opened one of these skeins before, so I'm going to figure out how to open it on camera. It's got this black string tying it together. So, before I take that apart, I think I'm going to... Let's look at the label. <clears throat> see what it says. Um, each ball is 72 yards or 66 meters. It's 100 grams or three and a half ounces. Super bulky. Um, you'll get six stitches for every four inches or 10 centimeters with a size 17 knitting needle, 12.75 millimeter, or a size P crochet hook, um, which is a 12 millimeter hook, P17. You'll get five single crochets in a four inch square or a 10 centimeter square. So this is really bulky, super bulky. And the color that I have is called Pretty Patch. Um, I don't know how to say those in French and Spanish. It looks like Belle Pies <laughs> and Parche par, 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 Press. <laughs> <laughs> for she was so I don't know I'm no good at French or Spanish this is made in Italy <coughs> pardon me I've been not feeling well lately this says one ball is enough to make a hat two balls will make a scarf and six to twelve balls will make a sweater so let's take this label off and I'm sure that we will find some patterns on the Peyton's website eventually. Just go to PeytonsYarns.com and look for the Big Blue Clay yarn and then click Free Patterns. Now, back inside here, inside the label, and it says Hand Wash, Lay Flat to Dry. And it says Wash Gently by Hand in Water Not Exceeding 30 Degrees Centigrade or 86 Fahrenheit. So I would use cold water to wash this. And um, then I would lay it out to dry. It says do not bleach. After extraction of excess water, dry the article on a suitable flat surface. Do not iron or press. Do not dry clean. So now we have even more instructions about this yarn. So now let's figure out this black string. Cut that. <clears throat> and I'm going to put my finger in the center of this thing. Not really sure why they put that on there. I guess just to hold it together. So this is from the outside. I wonder if you can pull it from the center. Let's see what happens. Yeah! You can pull it from the center. So you can just keep that wrapped around on the outside and you can use it from the center of that ball. It's a really fluffy yarn. Super bulky is hairy feeling. Let's see what the fiber content is. It is 80% acrylic and 20% mohair. Mohair is what I'm feeling in there. So that's what makes it feel light. And the acrylic helps it have good body. So we can see here at the end what the fibers are like. It's really pretty. Beautiful color. And it looks like that grayish one is the mohair and everything else is the acrylic. And it's bound with a feels like a thread of some kind, maybe some polyester thread. It doesn't mention that in the fiber content, though maybe that's an acrylic thread. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to cut this roving section off, set it aside, so it just start with the yarn. And I'm going to try working with a um, crochet hook to start with and see how it crochets. 
so I better put this off to the left. I'm going to crochet, I pull my yarn from the left, and when I knit, I use the yarn from the right. That's just how I roll. So let's see how this works with the crochet hook. It's the only size P hook I have in my craft room. It's not bad. It has a good feel to it. <clears throat> and it sure does work fast. I like this. Um, this reminds me of a um, yarn that I got once from a fancy yarn shop. Uh, seems like it was called Loopy Mohair or something like that. Loopy Mohair. That's what this feels like. It feels just like that. So I have some patterns that I could use for a Loopy Mohair that would be perfect for this yarn. There's a scarf pattern I have that uses Loopy Mohair and um, regular mohair. And you alternate them every few rows. It makes a really interesting scarf. So that feels really good. Man, I went really far. I didn't expect to go that far. Let's see if I can go back, if I can even feel the stitches. You have to feel them. You can't see them with this yarn. You just have to feel it. So you feel there, there. So you just have to feel for the little gaps with your fingers. And that's where your hook will go into for single crochet. So it's impossible to see the stitches with this. So you wouldn't want to do a real fancy um, stitch pattern with this. It would want to just stick with basic stitches. But it makes a really pretty um, fabric. I like how it feels. And it flows through my hands easily as I'm working with it. It's not fighting me or anything. The hardest part I'm having is using this crazy hook I'm not used to using. <clears throat> I usually use ergonomic crochet hooks and this is not ergonomic so I'm having a little trouble holding it with my arthritis. So it's the hook spot. <laughs> you know sometimes I hear people have trouble with yarn and I always want to tell them it might not be the yarn it might be the hook or the needles that you're using. So I like to try different needles and hooks with yarn when I work with it to see what, what works best with it. <clears throat> so I'm liking this. It feels really good. Wow, I love that feel. Even just with two rows, it has a nice lofty, but it's still still very light and fluffy. So, I'm not sure what I'd want to make with this. i got to think about that. I did mention, oh, it, it unravels easily, too. That's nice. I love how hairy it is. Some people don't like hairy yarns like this, but I love them. I think they're fun to work with. There we go. Everything unraveled without a problem. So now I'm going to move it off to the right. And I'm going to try knitting with it. See how that feels. Big Boo Clay. That's a cute name. I would think that this would make um, a good scarf. Or mittens. Mittens would be great. Or even just the cuff of a mitten. You can make the cuff of a mitten with this and then switch to a smoother yarn for the body of the mitten. That would be nice. Or a sock. You could use this as the cuff of a sock or a slipper and then make the body of the sock or the slipper with a smooth yarn. So cast it on easily. I would think that the hardest part of this yarn is going to be maybe splitting it with your needle as you knit. <clears throat> so you'd have to really watch. This is just like any other loopy moo here. It's kind of hard to knit with. It's easier to crochet, I believe. Yep. This yarn's better for crochet. 
because knitting takes a little bit more concentration. Maybe if I had a different kind of needle, I mean, yeah, needle, it would work better. <laughs> Plus, it's kind of hard to knit when you're reaching around a camera. <laughs> And the first row is always the hardest. That's what I always tell my beginning knitting students. I say, don't judge knitting by the first row. Give it another row, and then you'll like it better on the second row. Which is always true. The second row always goes better. For one thing, it, um, it's a little bit looser on the needles, because you're not working with cast on ray. And for another thing, you've gotten to know the yarn a little bit better by the second row, so you get more comfortable about where to stick your needle in. But I still feel like it's easier to crochet with. So this is kind of fiddly to knit with. <clears throat> because it's easy to split with all those loops in it. But that happens with every boucle yarn. So for me personally, I would probably stick with crochet with this yarn. It still makes a nice fabric. Very fast too. And I love those hairy parts from the mohair. They just give it a nice texture and look. Wow, that's fancy looking. Nice. So, you didn't get to see the other colors worked because this has long color changes. So, you'll, um, as you continue to work, it'll switch to um, gray and brown, tan, burgundy, rose, <laughs> coral. There's a lot of pretty colors here. So, I'm looking forward to working with it myself. I've got six balls, so that's plenty for me to do something something for me. That's Peyton's Big Boucle. You should be able to find it in your stores soon. If not, go to the Peyton's Yarn website, www.peytonsyarns.com, then click on the shop and you can buy it direct from Peyton's. So that's it. See you later. Bye.